This port city in western Saudi Arabia looks like the aftermath of a building collapse, or else some kind of terrible eruption, but it's none of that. It's actually just starting and the worst is yet to come. The massive plume of smoke spreads evenly across the horizon, and at 1 minute and 15 seconds you briefly get a glimpse of where it finally ends. There's no outrunning this event and finding shelter is almost pointless. The cloud is growing taller by the minute as it heads towards them. The air is becoming gritty and it's getting harder to breathe. Vehicles desperately try to get away at the last second, but it's too late for any of them to get far, nor the cameraman for that matter, who seems resigned to his fate and makes no such attempt. This is a massive sandstorm and if you haven't found shelter by now, you're in big trouble. The winds pick up and everything around him starts creaking unsteadily. Ya, nanti tenang. Nanti tenang, Sam Storm. Oke. Okay. Tenang, tenang, tenang. Ah, si, si. Someone tell me what his last words are and if you think he made it through this event. Ya, no. Ini kamu kan itu. Those are the last recorded moments before I assume the sand broke his camera. We may not get to see what happens next, but I doubt it was anything good. Either way, there's something about the possibility of this whole town getting buried alive that makes this video creepy beyond words. Three friends know of a haunted abandoned place in Egypt that needs exploring. Little do they know how wrong their paranormal investigation will have gone by the end of that night. Fresh writing on the wall that gives them pause. It might be a warning of sorts or maybe a puzzle. They spend quite some time trying to figure it out and never manage to. What does it say? <laughs> That's when they think they hear something upstairs, something that can mimic their movements. They go upstairs to confront it and hear a noise at the bottom of the steps where they just were. <laughs> As they turn around, there's a wall full of handprints marking where people were trying to get away from something. At the bottom are two floating white eyes. They are checking out more red handprints when their paranormal investigation somehow gets even creepier. <laughs> A djinn's figure fills the doorway on the top floor. They run down the steps fast and seconds later the slow moving figure somehow passes by them again. Well, they are looking up where it was last spotted. <laughs> With a flip of his scarf, the bravest of all sets forth to the exit and is almost touched. Here is a still image of the Jin's face taken at 9 minutes and 46 seconds. I think it might be a mask, but what if it's really a weird misshapen face? They say this is real. Should we believe them? This Ukrainian dash cam captures one of the highest resolution highway ghost encounters I have ever seen. Watch this part and tell me what is being said here if possible. I would really like to have a legitimate translation of this potentially supernatural message. The driver speeds off after she falls back and disappears, and does not stop until they are back to civilization. This professional quality of this video makes me wonder if this is from a European movie or television show. If not, it almost looks like a well-constructed hologram.
I could find no other source for this video, so be sure to let me know if this is amateur footage or something from mainstream media. This YouTuber didn't notice what he'd captured on camera until he played it back later, and when he saw it, he was scared. Published by Sphinx2720 in March of 2010, the scary video was taken at Gettysburg. The investigator is standing amongst some boulders at the beginning of the clip. He says the cluster of rocks is called Devil's Den. As he walks around the den, he appears to capture the devil himself. What looks like a large cloaked shadow figure is looming right in front of the den. Another oddity occurs at the beginning of the video and was noted by Akeo Ateo in the comments. As the investigator is getting his bearings with his camera, a dark figure in the distance beyond the nearby rock is spotted lurking past. What is going on here at Gettysburg? Do these figures have anything to do with the area's history? These paranormal investigators investigating YouTubers travel to a movie theater in Sagan, Texas to take their chances with the ghost of a girl who repeatedly scratches the staff at random. It isn't long before they hear not footsteps, but rather a single footstep, which is somehow even more unnatural and unnerving. Listen and watch. No one else is around. I've come here to communicate with whoever lives here. They keep hearing and seeing things that aren't quite showing up on camera. Short flashes of movement out of the peripheral vision that go away when they try to look. But this part, taken in the back right of the theater at 7 minutes in a section where they keep hearing most of the noise, seems to show someone in the seats looking back at them. Man, there is some serious creaking going on in these steps right here. The face has no detail, even though these are good quality cameras with night vision and the head looks nearly see-through, almost like the afterimage of someone who can only exist through sheer willpower and nothing more. Caitlin Raquel is alone in her room. When this shadow passes through her room without passing over her, her hands are not covered by the shadow, even though it walks directly in front of her. On April 8, 2018, a group of seven friends travel to a large tunnel in Mira Mesa, California that is legendarily haunted. Thumps, whispers, and even the voice of a little girl who may have been trapped during a flood are all said to be heard down there. So it comes as no surprise when they start hearing hearing moans before they even get inside, possibly warning them to come no closer. Caesar, open up. No, get no, yeah. They are barely deep inside at all when I hear a girl yelling something here at 6 minutes and 30 seconds. They go further and soon need their lights to see. They keep hearing whispers, but they aren't sure if it's the wind or water, so they are taking extremely small steps at this point to hear every sound. Everyone is being as quiet as they can, and that's when they hear two loud footsteps right in the middle of their group that none of them make. Something is standing with them. And this raspy whisper does not sound like any of them at all. By now, they feel surrounded by spirits, and they may have really gone way too far. They talk about turning around, but decide they didn't drive two hours all the way out here to turn around now, and that's when something makes their decision for them. What's crazy is that these footsteps don't even echo. Definitely paranormal. <laughs> The group goes running back, but even though they are terrified, they can't resist going a little further and seeing what's ahead of them one last turn. That's when they find an overhead pipe that is essentially small and slimy, and their light explorer is above. I think they might finally see a spirit here at 2 minutes and 38 seconds. It looks almost like it's wearing an old helmet of some kind, or maybe it was just his light bouncing off the walls. He returns the next month on May 9th with different friends and even higher expectations than before. Expectations that are met and exceeded. Voices again greet them at the entrance and you can hear a girl's voice really clearly here after he's finished talking about how scared this place makes him. It's really dark right now. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, can you flash a light in front of my face? It's too bad. This time, they are more prepared and assign someone to keep guard behind them so they aren't surprised again. After six and a half minutes, 
something new happens, technical difficulties with the camera, could be from electromagnetic disturbances given off by paranormal energy whenever a particularly powerful spirit is near, and I don't think it's a coincidence that they hear this deep and loud groan exactly one minute later. Okay. They are all getting really scared at this point, so they grow quiet and press on. They reach the same part of the tunnel where they heard running footsteps before, and again hear something in front and behind. I'm scared of the water to like surprise. Okay, now we heard it from both sides. Alright, let's go. Not wanting to join the ranks of the spirits below, they quickly get out of there before anything more serious happens. I think at this point, after watching two different group of friends going from skeptical to scared out of their minds, we can definitely conclude that the Mira Mesa Tunnel is beyond haunted. Both videos don't have a lot of views despite being more than a year old, so the fact that he would drive two hours to visit the place again says to me that he is doing this because it's genuinely haunted instead of trying to make a viral video. All in all, there's over half an hour of raw footage between the two trips that's worth taking a look at. There really are too many paranormal moments for me to cover in one countdown. A man from an unknown country is checking an old apartment when he is confronted by the spirit of its former inhabitants. First, something whispers behind him in another language, possibly Arabic, followed by movement. <laughs> Then they slam the door he just walked through and raise the lock in midair, something that a person would not be able to do just from banging really hard on the other side. Orbs are going crazy, although it is pretty dusty in here. Anyway, pay attention to this side of the room. No one is here, yet in moments a paw flies from this direction, and when he turns around you can see the room is completely empty. Phantom figures crouch low behind doorways and promptly disappear, and when he hears these running footsteps overhead, he knows it's time to leave fast. They sound heavy and are heading straight his way. This scary ritual is about to go very wrong. Near Shadow shows us why we should never play with the devil. First, he must submit a drop of vital fluid. It says a single drop. Right where your name goes. You could probably just dab it on the paper. Too. Nope, it has to drip. Then he must knock on a door 21 times. 30 seconds? Um, yep, I'm watching the... They start to hear some things bubbling up. It sounds like... Wow, I got cold chills. It sounds like wind, but like echoing wind, like... Yeah. And the furnace isn't on. There's no, no heat on. And it continues. You hear that? God. We can only guess what 70 means. While communicating with the spirits, they continue hearing a noise coming from the door, and then it moves. What did it just say? Oh, orange. I mean, orange? I have orange candle. Oh. And then it really moves. Making a noise. Holy shit. Damn it. Babe. Oh my door just opened. Oh my There's no way. And then it's clearly being moved by something. There's just such a ringing. Babe. I'm not even playing. To me, the first couple movements look like they could have been from a draft. That last one, though, that one sold me. This figure appears out of nowhere and then disappears just the same way. Shared on TikTok, watch this mysterious vanishing act.
It does appear that the figure is only suddenly visible when the light flashes on them. And after it trapezes across the roadside for a moment, it vanishes into nothing. Yeah. Yeah. While it could just be a poor quality camera, the way the figure pixelates and disperses is utterly eerie to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no tech expert. Can anyone clear this up for me in the comments? Something is living tucked away in this abandoned bunker. Published in December of 2016, Dima Maslenikov proves that you should always prepare to encounter the darkness within, even when you assume you're alone. While exploring what is supposed to be an abandoned bunker, Dima's camera captures something lurking in the shadows. In the moment, it appears as if all that lies ahead is darkness, but a close-up of the tunnel's depths shows what looks to be a face peering out at him. The features of the face are distorted and mask-like, due to the bunker being so dark and the image quality inept to capture a clear shot, but the obscurity of the shot captured is creepy enough to give us pause. If you saw this, would you dare to dive into this bunker further? Someone is watching in the woods. Published by Mr. Horror, this short clip shows a group hanging out in the forest and what looks like the ruins of an abandoned structure. As the camera turns from the surrounding trees to the building, it captures something creeping around the door frame. The mysterious figure is but a flash, and its features are indistinct. It quickly pulls out of view. The cameraman hurries forward, revealing a campfire built outside to the right. But it looks like the creature is long gone. What was it? Are they being stalked by the unknown? It sure looks that way to me. Prepat Amusement Park is an abandoned park in the Chernobyl region. It was abandoned before its planned grand opening after the meltdown that contaminated the area in 1986. Posted to TikTok by Edwin Calderon608, this TikToker is wondering what this person is doing in the highly contaminated park. The deserted Ferris wheel looks particularly gloomy, standing still with no one on it. That is, until the viewer zooms in on Google Earth to see a male figure standing in the service box beside the ride. The man isn't armored against the radiation that still pollutes the area. He is completely unprotected against it, leaving me to wonder if he's perhaps superhuman. Anyone want to risk a visit to ask him? No, that'd be a terrible idea. This Airbnb promises you a terrible night's sleep. Published by Chelsea Luna in October of 2020, this scary video takes you on a tour of America's most haunted Airbnb. Chelsea's creepy overnighter begins with a hiss. What does that mean? She looks around but sees nothing. Her dog doesn't take kindly to this place and starts barking at nothing. When she asks if there's anyone there, she hears a whistle. Is anyone in here? And later a knock sounds at the door, setting off the dog alarm. After a while, she heads outside only to hear more disturbing noises. Back inside, she finds red liquid on the wall and later feels something right behind her. Is there a spirit? Yes. Oh my god. Quiet. As they're later talking to a demon named Raymond, a water bottle falls on its own, startling them. They continue talking to the spirit when something loud is heard. It looks like an object flies in Chelsea's face. Are you a demon? Oh. <laughs> As the pair are considering leaving the haunted Airbnb to grab a coffee at Starbucks, you hear a loud thump. I'll just drive. I don't care. I don't, I'm down yeah, to go. We're going to the gas station to get a chocolate shop. Sounds like Raymond, the demon, doesn't want them to go. The Terror Al Extremo crew wanders the abandoned grounds of this haunted witch's house. In the middle of a forest, they hear a shrill shriek. <gasps> Huh? <gasps> 
Well, it could be human. It could also be harmless. It sounds like a bird call. But shortly after, a figure that they capture in a window seems to suggest otherwise. Are the legends true? Is this the witch that's said to haunt this place? I'm starting to think that it wasn't a bird. YouTuber Ali H lives in a haunted house. After his dogs woke him in the middle of the night, he was confronted, but not by his dogs, by the demon itself. Watch the security camera footage here. Ali says there was a knocking noise which disturbed his dogs. That's why they woke him up for comfort. He got up to check things out, and when he did, something sinister happened. After having his neck squeezed and then thrown to the floor, Ali somehow went back to bed. Although this would definitely not be my reaction to being choked by an unseen force, I do believe Ali's story. Watch again at how he was lifted off the floor by the demon. Maybe Ali is just so used to dealing with the haunted happenings in his home, he's become indifferent to them. I think this is getting dangerous for him though. He should take everyone's advice in the comments and move from this haunted place before it's too late. Whimsical YouTuber Erwin Saunders is being stalked through his magical forest by a fangirl named Carol, and together they spot something special. What was that in the cave? They see her again in the light. For this species, because they're, they're relatively calm. She doesn't seem to mind us being here, so. Oh, she's, oh, she's so gone cute. In. And then again, up close. Can I talk to her or anything? Can I say anything? Shall I say anything? No, no, just stay still. No. I really missed Irwin's captures like this, even though they're kind of creepy, and I think Carol is a great addition to his magical team. The last place you want to hear screaming is in a cemetery, in the darkness of night. That's what YouTuber Thrills heard when he was visiting Fox Island Cemetery, which is said to be haunted by a man in black. As they first enter the cemetery, they hear an unexplained hissing noise. Um, I will say the other camera is a lot easier to hold. What the heck is that? It's not, yeah, not that here, that's it. And soon the screaming starts. Did you hear it again? Yeah, I just heard it. After moving along, they hear the screaming a second time. What is this way, too? I definitely just heard something, yeah. And then a third directly after. I definitely just heard something, yeah. While this might be a wild animal or someone just hollering for the fun of it, it could also be the legendary Man in Black. I think he might just be toying with them. Mythical creatures are said to rule these forests. Did this cameraman catch one of them? Or did he almost get caught? Published by SEOOSST in June of 2021, the footage shows the cameraman making his way through some brambles and overgrowth in the woods. As the camera pulls up alongside a large pile of them, a mysterious dogman-like face appears over top of the pile. The hairy brown face doesn't look human, nor does it look quite animal. Its eyes glow as it moves jarringly out of view when the camera lands on it, making a gruff growling noise. 
some in the comments are calling this mysterious beast a cryptid. What do you think it is? I just know I'll be staying out of that forest. Chris Hopkins goes exploring a haunted mental asylum close to 3am called Forest Haven. As the name implies, they have to cut through a forest on foot to get there, and that's when their troubles begin. That was somebody. Yeah. We're walking down the trail. We just, we just heard someone right over there. Chris turns on his flashlight and soon sees a mysterious light in return. They play flashlight tag for a while until they discover a group of other people who, while friendly, claim to be ghost hunters on a quote unquote another mission. Yo, we just, we just met up with these guys. Hey, <laughs> yo, these were some of the guys we were bringing in. Actual ghost hunters, but we're on another mission right now. They don't think much of the comment and join together to go exploring the abandoned mental hospital. As they get to talking, the strangers kneel down and show what their special mission really is, to take copper from wires and sell it for money. That's when it occurs to them that they are around some shady people in an abandoned building who have sharp instruments and are looking for valuable equipment, like their expensive cameras. Thinking fast, Chris walks back to get his friends. Dude, come out here and listen to all these birds. Listen to all these birds. They don't say a word and awkwardly walk away, which is the right choice. Who knows what would have happened to them if they stayed around. It Amy 23 is filming random scenery in the car when they drive by this weird mysterious figure that is more of an after image than an actual person. A rare sighting of a ghost driving out of Cleburne, Texas as she puts it. It certainly could be a ghost, but for some reason I feel like it could just be a mannequin or something that somebody set up in the window to freak people out when they drive by. And guess what? It worked. There's nothing more haunted than something that moves of its own accord, except maybe when it jolts aggressively of its own accord. Submitted to Reddit by Nick4566. This swing in India is not child's play. Nick writes, This was seen in a well-known city of India. The park is closed since a year as a lady took her own life here long back, and the park is not used by children. Watch the swing at the beginning of the clip flinging back and forth on its own. It's a bit unnerving already, but as some in the comments point out, someone might have pushed it before the person began filming. You probably thought that yourself, but watch further. The swing slows halfway through the video only to suddenly jolt back to life. <laughs> Flinging aggressively back and forth, the leaves in the surrounding trees are barely fluttering, so none of this could be due to wind or nature. It's completely supernatural. Could the spirit of the woman who took her life still be here? And why is she swinging? We may never know. When a YouTuber named Noah Faddis learns that an old section of his school is haunted, he and his friends grab a camera and check it out. They are making a parody of shows like Ghost Hunters when suddenly their skit is interrupted by running footsteps and knocking on the walls. I guess. No, I... Noah sprints off to investigate while his friends hang back. Loud noises fill the hallway from all directions, and then everything gets way too quiet. The two remaining friends strain their eyes and hear Noah's twisted voice calling out for them. Okay. We're done. No, 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 let's go. Shh. Soon Noah comes around the corner looking vicious and ready for a confrontation. Either this entire video is just a school project, or whatever is down here seems to have claimed Noah for themselves, and I doubt they are giving him back anytime soon. If you've ever been in a school at night, you know how creepy the dark, empty halls can be. Well, this school takes the hair standing on end to another level.
published to YouTube by Tubba Rubba in January of 2016. This scary video shows security footage via a video monitor which was captured at the apparently haunted Folk High School in Arkansas. A janitor's cart sits in the entrance of a bathroom. A moment later, it starts to move slowly forward. It pauses for a minute and then rolls further, wheeling around the corner before launching fast across the hallway and then turning sharply to enter another room. According to Tubba Rubba, the janitor of the school weighed in on this haunted ordeal. He said that his cart is too heavy to have been pulled by a string. Moreover, no one was caught on camera entering or leaving the bathroom before or after the creepy incident. So I guess we can assume the school bathroom is haunted. By folks' version of Moaning Myrtle, better steer clear before she drowns you in her tears. Can you feel the evil in this house of satanic worship? YouTuber Chris Luna can. She and Laura Rivas enter to see what evil it holds. While touring the place, they find a bottle of black magic liquid inside. As they continue, something appears to confront Chris L. Laura sprays what I assume is an antidote on her, and they continue on. In another room, they spot a portal drawn on the wall and hear laughter. Later, they again hear laughter. Noting that all the windows are closed, they find a lifeless bird on the floor. Is this a remnant of a satanic ritual performed here? I think it is, and if that's the case, they should get out pronto. This offering looks fresh. If you're out paddleboarding, watch your sea legs. Published in April of 2022, YBS Youngbloods writes, a humbling reminder for myself that it's their ocean and I'm just a visitor. The paddleboarder is at first enamored with a giant sea turtle. But soon that excitement turns to panic. A huge shark is seen making his way over and passes below the man's board. When the shark does this, the last place you'd want to be right now is in the water. While many in the comments are panicking, commenter Jethro X has a different perspective. He writes, For anyone wondering, this is just how we have fun in Australia. This double doll haunting recently occurred somewhere in South America. Two girls are happily talking to the camera while clutching their Barbie dolls. They are admiring their toys when suddenly their toys admire them back. Both dolls twist their head all the way around to look at the girls, who scream and throw their possessed toys to the floor. You can clearly see that the girls are not holding the dolls anywhere near their heads when they start to move, so maybe it is real after all. If anyone can translate what these girls were saying, then perhaps it will help us figure out possible deep web video was discovered and posted by a YouTube channel called Grizz Overkill. In it, two bizarre looking figures walk forward in jerky, unnatural movements. The first one is dressed like a witch and has long, gnarled limbs and fingers on display. The second one is dressed the same way and is wearing what I hope is a mask and not its real face. 
Let me know if you recognize these figures from any television or movie series. I would feel a lot better knowing that this is just a film set and not a real video. If this does turn out to be real, then I don't even want to know its location or the surrounding circumstances. Kloss finds something in his basement that's so scary. He has set up multiple cameras in his basement to try and capture it on camera. All he finds is this extra creepy layer of skin dried up against the wall. Listening to the sound the skin makes when touched is enough to make me want to peel out of my own. What in the world? He says it's juvenile, and I'd say that's a safe bet since it can't be finished growing if it is still shedding its skin from time to time. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a big snake. And it's somewhere in my basement. You can see where the snake used the grooves between two stones to rub off its old skin and emerge even bigger than before. A Google search reveals snakes will come into the basement through basement cracks and even through drains if you have any plumbing hooked up down there. Once they're in, the only way to get them to leave is to remove them by hand or call for help. The description says it's over 3 feet long. Assuming he measured accurately, I'd say it's time to leave this one up to the pros. This footage was supposedly taken from a submarine lurking somewhere in the Greenland Sea. The crew is so fascinated with a school of fish overhead that they fail to see a much rarer creature directly behind them. A large webbed hand that is roughly five times larger than any human's slaps the glass before pushing away. It's almost as if the humanoid creature was toying with the submarine crew and wanted to make its presence known. However, one thing bothers me about this video. If everyone is so interested in the school of fish passing above them, then why is the cameraman focusing on his crewmate's reaction instead of the fish? This video could very well be scripted and CGI, although it also wouldn't surprise me if it really was legitimate. Only the submarine crew knows for sure. This not-so-smart intruder's attempted entering was thwarted by a much smarter doorbell. When this stranger attempted to break into this home in Sydney Hills District, where a woman and her child were alone inside, the man is captured on several security cameras, staking out the premises, ringing the doorbell and waiting, before peering into the windows and trying the door handle several times. Hello? Hello? Hi, are you... Wrong, wrong house, wrong house. Yeah, no, no, it's wrong house, sorry. When the homeowner finally responds to the man's attempted break-in via the ring doorbell, the homeowner's voice obviously scares the man, who quickly rushes off apologizing and claiming he had the wrong house. There's nothing better than outsmarting an intruder. Hopefully he didn't try again later. A child is left alone for just a moment, but still long enough for her to have a possible conversation with a ghost. Look across from her at the wrapped silverware in front of the glass and watch what it does as she speaks. The silverware moves all by itself shortly after she reminds an invisible person that this is not their dinner. She could be talking to an imaginary friend, but that doesn't explain how the object moved without being touched. The ghost appears to leave her alone after this brief interaction, and she happily resumes eating as if nothing happened. Exactly what it was planning to do to their food could be anyone's guess. A YouTuber named Ariette Jane is live streaming a road trip when suddenly an unidentified creature bursts through the traffic, nearly causing a wreck. Here we are. Here San Diego Freeway Diego. coming up. Boom. We are there. Awesome. Whoa. Dude! What the hell was that? It was a 
wasn't on, he wasn't on a motorcycle. The speeding object leaves a short trail of fire behind, almost like it has a turbocharger of some sort, yet it's going way too fast to be an ordinary vehicle. My guess is this is computer-generated special effects. But if that is the case, then I don't know how he got the cars to slow down all at once to make this shot look so realistic. Maybe there was traffic ahead or something and he edited this creature in later. Either way, Ariane Jane swears that this video is 100% real, and I'd like to know if you agree with him or not. This video is quite short at only 7 seconds in length, and leaves us with more questions than answers. Two girls are filming a YouTube video with a large doll toy. If someone could translate this part, it could give us more insight into what the video was supposed to be about. <laughs> Instead, the toy starts moving all on its own, staring directly at one of the girls. The girl off camera tells her to look at the toy, and when she does, she throws it down in fear. Their reactions both seem very genuine, and if this isn't paranormal, then I have no idea what caused this. Fair warning, this video is said to be cursed, so I am in no way responsible for what happens to you as a result of watching it. They are recording nothing in particular when a horrifying monstrosity rushes out of the pitch black backyard and straight towards the camera. I hope this video isn't real, but if it is, then it doesn't look like the person had much of a chance. Hopefully you won't befall the same fate for watching. Just When You Think You Are Safe, published in July of 2017, this major fright is of the natural variety. While well, inside a Maruti showroom, a raging storm roars outside its glass storefront. Wind, rain, the whole shebang. <coughs> the wind grows more hostile. It looks like the whole showroom is going through a car wash. The store's employees and customers alike watch this wild weather, feeling safe and sound inside. But they shouldn't feel safe. The scary wind suddenly blows so hard that it smashes the glass, which shatters and collapses before their very eyes. And then it's chaos. Everyone runs as far away from the storefront as they can. People are screaming. Once the cameraman gathers his bearings and turns around to have a look, you can see water and glass scattered everywhere. People are still running around in a panic. They manage to cram themselves into a compact room near the back. From there, you can see it wasn't only the front window that shattered. Another to the side is broken too, causing crosswinds to whistle through the showroom from every angle. Ceiling tiles start to fall, and the whole building seems on the verge of collapse. I hope everyone here made it out safely. When a YouTuber named Dre Nation is walking home at 3am in his native country of Jamaica, he begins to worry about what could happen to him at such a late hour, so he starts recording a video to make himself feel safer. The road he is on is not well lit at all except for the occasional street lamp, and most of the video is nothing but darkness. Few people are up to any good at this hour and every passing car fills him with dread. After marching through the night for some time, Dre senses something watching him from afar. He spins around and thinks he sees something, though I don't think it shows up on camera. Let me know if you see something under the street lamps in the distance. So where I come from the Look, what's that? Soon he hears a pack of stray dogs barking from far away. I'm so f***ing scared. It sounds like they are gaining on him, but it's impossible to tell how many of them there are or how close they are because he is now fleeing down the darkest part of the road. He doesn't want to trip over something and snap an ankle while running full speed in the pitch black night, so he isn't fast enough and eventually they catch up with him. Thankfully, the dogs turn out to be too small to do much of anything. But that doesn't stop them from giving him an awful fright. He eventually composes himself and completes the rest of the way home. YouTuber Gregor Wilk braves one of the most haunted places in Wisconsin in this spooky video.
One of the most interesting finds he has there is this strange orb flickering in the darkness. Watch closely. In another shot, he captures a ghostly apparition. Watch to the left amongst the trees. Here's a closer look. Some in the comments say they've had a similar experience at Sanitarium Hill. Well, from this distance, I'd say you can't really tell if this is a ghost or not. This was filmed at around 2 a.m., so the idea that someone was out walking in the darkness of night is pretty creepy in and of itself. Schwinn Protocol wants to remodel his dreary basement, which only has a dirt floor. After digging many layers down, he finds this rusty old entranceway that presumably extends even deeper. He doesn't really have a good feeling about this at all, but he needs to know everything about the basement before he can get the job done, so he has to see for himself what's on the other side. He lifts the heavy cement plug, and white orbs soon follow, though I guess they could also be dust particles. Either way, he is puzzled to find a wide cavern filled with darkness. As his light traces along the rough edges of the floor, he slowly begins to piece together some unnerving observations out loud. Uh, that's probably about a 13 or 15 foot drop. So definitely a bigger person wouldn't be able to fit down there. I can't, wouldn't even be able to fit a ladder down there though, so. So basically, this is a deep hole with an entrance that's too small for an adult, but just the right size to squeeze through a child. I'm not sure what this was really used for, but I do agree that it's weird to have a random hole in your basement that's easy to fall into and tough if not impossible to get out. To be fair, the YouTuber later wrote in the description that he thinks it was part of a drainage system that's no longer in use. Maybe he's right, or maybe he's just trying to explain something that he wishes he never saw. Someone could have spent their entire childhood down there for all we know. A paranormal investigator known only as Survivor is on his way to go exploring an abandoned haunted cottage. On the outskirts of town, one o'clock in the morning is when he sees, in his words, a strange grandmother on an abandoned road. There is no reason for anybody to be walking miles from town so late at night, let alone a senior, so he pulls over to see if she needs any help. To his surprise, the woman who was just there moments ago has mysteriously disappeared. He has a really bad feeling, so he pulls over at the side of the road. What he finds next has him wondering if this was a real ghost sighting caught on video. He finds nothing but an old tattered cloth where the woman was last sighted. It looks like it could just be a piece of roadside trash like a tarp or something. Take another look. Was this item really what her ghost was wearing? This video was recovered from a cell phone left behind by a hotel guest who is in an extra hurry to leave for some reason. He's taking a random video when some chilling moments are caught in his hotel room. Just me and Aunt traveling, watching some <laughs> a dark shadow passes in front of him without a sound. The way he was talking out loud to himself makes it sound like he was talking to himself when the mysterious figure makes him gasp out loud and drop the phone. This situation wouldn't be too hard to fake. 
all you'd need is someone to walk in front of you and act scared, so it might not be real. But if this footage was really found by the next guest, like the description claims, then that's beyond creepy. Exploring with Danny is back, this time at an abandoned building rumored to have strange lights and other happenings. Within minutes of entering, they hear a humming noise that briefly morphs into strange piano music coming from the basement. As they round a corner, they find candles are placed in a circle. A woman with a pale face and long black hair turns to them, but I'm not exactly buying it. I mean, her shoes kind of look normal to me, so this could just be a regular person dressed up. Still, the way she continues to chase after them makes me wonder if she's a crazy person or if I'm wrong about her being a ghost completely. But skid or not, there really might be something lurking down there with them. Everyone is lurking at the corner on the left at the 7 minute mark, but what I want to know is what's up with the two different colored eyes in the back. Perhaps something was watching them this whole time. A father points a camera at his daughter's closet because she is afraid of something in her room. He was probably expecting for it to be nothing, but instead what he's caught on camera after midnight has left him shaken up as she is. She wakes up to a noise, a noise from the closet, and then a basketball falls out, half deflated like something had squeezed all the air out. You can clearly see the full closet, and it's not big enough for anyone to hide inside. If this wasn't paranormal, then I'm not sure how it was set up. A YouTuber named Bat Bat Box and his friend are all geared up and ready to do some serious exploring down a drainage tunnel that runs deep beneath the streets in Norway. Recent rains raise the water up to their knees and a storm surge could leave them over their heads in a moment's notice. Many small side passages tempt them, but the rising water makes it too risky. They soon reach an impasse in the form of a fallen tree that quickly brings their exploration to a close. But just as the two friends are having a quick conversation about what to do next, a third party joins in. Something calls from the other side of the clogged pipe. A weird noise in their words, but definitely a scared human voice in my opinion. It doesn't make any other noise or ask for help and when they try to find the source, it's gone. The tunnel is empty except for them, or so they think. All they find is this weird large glove with sharpened fingers left behind, an iron claw in their words, like something a madman would wear. And when the passage they were looking down earlier begins to churn out a murky gray substance, they get out of there quick before anything else gets a chance to appear. That's a lot of unexplained events to have happened in one tunnel. Mysteries I don't think they were ready to solve. Maybe they heard someone's last moments before being taken away down that small passage. And whatever was down there was probably coming for them next. It's not often you see two trains so close on the same track occurring near Smith Falls in Ontario, Canada in 1992. The footage shows a passenger train that needed to hit the emergency brakes while en route to Toronto. The passenger train appears to be traveling at a fairly fast speed when a stationary freight train comes into view down the track. As the commuter has little time to slow, the engineer stumbles out of the locomotive cab. In the meantime, the freighter back 
backs up slowly while the commuter train has managed to break hard enough to come to a complete stop right in the nick of time. The approach left no more than six feet between the locomotives, a close call that makes little to no sense as to why or how it happened. A YouTuber named ShayXL and her friend, Brandy Lynn, are trying on various outfits and walking around the mall when they apparently attract a follower. This is the first time they notice him, and they sound more annoyed than scared. Why does this guy keep following us? Like, literally, he keeps following us. Um, Compare this to the fourth time they see him, and you can tell they really are in fear. No one should have to go through this and I feel really bad for them. We just saw him again, so that's the third time that we saw him. Oh my god, he's following us, he's following us. The way he keeps glancing at them, while trying not to be obvious, makes me wonder how much practice he was doing this before. He obviously cannot control himself and keeps needing to take another look. He refuses to give up his pursuit and continues pretending to look at clothes. I guess it's possible, but somehow I seriously doubt he has more interest in these bright red dresses than he does in them. All of this might have been a coincidence, if not for this part, where he walks directly towards them at the end. In my opinion, he only stops and turns when he realizes they have his face on video. Look, he's right there. He's literally following us. Still, even knowing that he is caught on camera, he still passes them once more, and this time turns his head to stare. Is this all a big misunderstanding, or is he getting one final look in the most creepy way possible? This Snapchat video was taken at a school in Esterville, Iowa. You can see a deer standing outside looking very confused before it suddenly tries to get in without warning. Watch out. <laughs> Clearly, the zombie deer wants to get inside however it can, searching around the sides of the glass for an opening, before giving up and resuming its confused, vegetative state. Those inside are lucky that this deer is too small to break the glass. If this was a full-grown deer running at them, things could have been much different. Hopefully, they contacted animal control and thoroughly disinfected this door before letting anyone touch it. A synagogue in Ukraine captured something absolutely creepy and mysterious, a brilliant ball of light floating ominously near the synagogue wall. The authentic video shows the ball of light floating down to hover, swaying back and forth slightly in one place. It stays there for a moment, glowing its mystery until it flies upward again disappearing forevermore. The ball of light isn't a perfectly circular orb. In fact, it looks almost gelatinous as its shape changes slightly in its hovering, with protuberances bulging slightly here and there. So what is this light? What could it be? Scientists are baffled and can't seem to find any explanation for it, leaving explanations up to popular opinion. These opinions range from a lightning ball to a reflection of infrared light to someone's very soul. Jewish people were ordered to gather here before they were sent off to camps in WW2, so the possibility of it being someone's soul looks promising. I wouldn't be surprised if souls abounded here. The truth is, we'll likely never know what was the source of this light and we probably weren't meant to know. Disembodied voices and shadow figures plague the Mount Morris Mystery House, and YouTube team Spirit Walk Paranormal are here to investigate. The first whispers come as one of the team leaves this room. Although I don't necessarily hear what the team has heard, there is a distinct voice there. Shortly after, as the Steadicam sits there, a strange noise is heard that sounds almost mechanical to me. Next is this unexplained tapping. followed by this singular tap.
Later, as one of the crew is touring the house, he hears this mysterious knocking. He continues the search, which turns up this disembodied voice. So I'm gonna close the door. That could just be the sound of the door closing, although it does sound suspiciously like words. Another strange sound is followed by a disembodied voice. We can... And shortly after, another is heard. There's, there's some toys. Are these many bodiless voices coming from the beyond? I think that may be the case, because to me, the whisper sounds not of this world. What is this creature? Please, writes a YouTuber named Terriana, to which I have but one question in return. Why are you still in front of it? I would have been long gone. Seriously though, it looks like some kind of toxic caterpillar, except here's the thing. This video was caught on camera on a boat while out at sea. I think we can all agree that the creature is covered in fur, something I've never seen on any deep sea creature caught on tape before, and it's really bizarre. This video was posted in 2007 and I couldn't find anything else like it, so I'm not sure what this mysterious deep sea creature is. I think it's laying on its side and normally crawls along the lighter colored bottom portion. Hopefully those long protrusions up and down its body are hairs and not sharp quills. A YouTuber named Benjamin Bennett makes videos where he smiles for literally hours at a time. No one knows why he does it. Maybe it's performance art or maybe he is a little unstable. Either way, videos of a man smiling at you for hours at a time are deeply unsettling. Then, one day, Benjamin Bennett frowned. I think that maybe his facial muscles were cramping up after hours of smiling. Or maybe he was playing a practical joke on us. Other viewers, however, are sure that Benjamin Bennett is being held against his will and is being forced to smile by someone off camera. Let me know which explanation you think is true based on what you've seen here. Wreckful is a streamer and YouTuber, and in this video, he is live streaming in the streets of Japan. It's late at night and the streets are almost completely deserted. Wreckful soon notices that he is being followed by a man wearing a surgical mask. Wait, I'm on follow. I'm gonna flip the camera. Wreckful begins to look genuinely afraid as he stops himself from panicking. He ultimately decides to run when he turns the corner. I'm running. He eventually stops and confronts this potential stalker. It turns out this man is a fan of Wreckful and was wanting to scare him as a joke. Wreckful is still clearly shaken up from the incident while talking to his follower and his friend. While it turns out Wreckful was in no danger, the confusion of being followed by a stranger is certainly frightening. Two unexplained videos have captured a strange sighting of a humanoid figure floating over over Phoenix, Arizona. Anyone know what that is? Writes one of them in a Snapchat video posted on March of 2020. So far, no one has any idea. The uploader goes on to explain that they were in their backyard when a mysterious figure silently floated over them, an all black outline with what they describe as wings in the middle. While I do see what he's talking about, I doubt they are wings because they are not moving. It looks more like a jetpack or something, and yet I don't see any exhaust, so it's probably not that either. An experimental drone or a weather balloon would be my next guess, and if it's not that, then maybe it's a kite shaped like a person. With that said, it's been over a year and the strange sky sighting videos over Phoenix are still without explanation. The mystery is unsolved. If something falls from above, the universe may be trying to tell you something. Published to YouTube in June of 2020 by MD Vines Official, this will leave you shaking. Out in the jungle at night, a group is discussing something while standing outside of this obscure structure. The moon is full above. They start to see a small point of light blinking in the darkness. They follow it as it moves. Then all of a sudden, something heavy like a brick falls from above. The group starts running like mad. 
What just tried to take their lives? Whatever it is, the creature is vengeful. They better watch their step. Published by Dark Ghost Paranormal in August of 2021, Dennis set up cameras in a bunker hidden beneath a school. And this abandoned bunker in Germany has some mysteries up its sleeve. One camera captures a door slowly opening. In another room in the school above, Dennis asks for a sign that someone's here, and this is the response. In the bunker, a blast makes Dennis jump. It sounds like it's coming from this box. Later, the light from his camera shuts off, and he's left in the darkness. Through the spirit box, the spirits tell him it's a trap. Strange carnival-like music seems to be coming from the spirit box. As Dennis's lights continue to malfunction, he has no escape. The door to the room is locked, and he can't get it open. He is in the darkness again with only a lighter to keep him company, while something unknown growls from the shadows. Later, he is told through the spirit box not to come. He finds the previously locked door mysteriously open to him. After racing out of there with his equipment, we can only imagine that he heeded the spirit's advice and never returned, which is a smart call. Exploring an abandoned apartment building has gone wrong for these ghost hunters in Bangladesh. kitchen. In the corner of the room stands a figure with long black hair over its eyes that sends them running out of the building. It's freaky, but it looks more like somebody wearing a store-bought costume than a ghost sighting. It's creepy, but I'm not quite convinced that it's a real apparition. Are you? A group of kids are hanging out at a park in New York when a much older man strolls through their group no less than three times. In his left hand is what appears to be some kind of small bag, with a tightly wrapped camera lens sticking out the middle. The camera is held low and pointed at the teens as he walks by, and I could be wrong, but it looks like he might be trying to stare at someone out of the corner of his eye without alerting their suspicions. Finally, after standing in the middle of the crowd without moving for over 30 seconds, one of the teens calls him out for his allegedly shady behavior. Watch how quickly he bolts and tell me if you think he was up to something no good. This video is undoubtedly real, and all we can do is hope this man was eventually brought to justice. Think your possessions are safe right outside your home? This series of videos will have you second-guessing that. The uploader explains that the first video occurred on a Saturday night in June of 2019. It shows two women on the balcony of a house, innocently looking through a shoe cubby. After checking out a couple pairs, they suddenly race from the balcony. Apparently, this isn't their home, and they aren't supposed to be there. These same brazen ladies return in the second video. It appears they felt the need to trespass further. One of the women returns to the balcony, strolling across it at ease. That is, until she notices the security camera posted up in the corner. 
She laughs and covers her face, quickly leaving the balcony. It's not clear if these intruders made off with anything from the apartment, but Kaziem asks viewers to spread the word. If not thieves, it's still creepy to imagine strangers lurking right outside your front door at night. When you go onto abandoned property, don't expect to be the only one there. Published YouTube by Double Bins in January of 2008, this video will dissuade you from ever entering an abandoned home. The clip shows some adventurers exploring an empty home, or one that they think is empty anyway. The two-story White House appears to be in the middle of the countryside. As the boys approach it, its big empty windows are like empty eye sockets, giving the house an even more sinister vibe. They enter the house, which doesn't even have a door. It's wide open to whomever dares come inside. The place is an absolute nightmare. It looks as though something tore through the house and destroyed everything in its wake. The oven door is in the middle of the living room. As the boys walk through, the one filming scans the roof, which has a window open to the second floor. That's when they see they're not alone. A figure passes by in plain view overhead. The roof is off. Definitely. Oh my. Needless to say, the boy who captures it on film immediately flips out and they both race out of the house and across the field. Whether ghost or human, this is definitely something worth fleeing from. Night CCTV footage has caught a possibly real ghost sighting at this YouTuber's place of work. Out of the shadows emerges a mysterious pale apparition that seems to briefly look into the room as it walks back into the shadows. It wears a white dress with an extra small waist that was popular during the 1800s. The uploader later found out this place used to be an old Victorian orphanage, so the look of the ghost does coincide with the history of the haunted building. Whether or not you believe him will determine how eerie this footage is. I believe him though. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.